Hi there, it's Phil here. If you want to monitor either some young baby kittens that you're looking after, your own baby, or another room, or anything anywhere within Wi-Fi range of your computer and your network, if you have a second hand or an old iPhone or an Android phone, there's a way that you can link up the camera to provide a webcam live feed over the internet for a very small fee and uh, it gives you the, the ability to monitor anything that you want to be looking after. In my example here I've got uh, some kittens that I'm fostering and I can't be in the room all of the time so I like to see what's going on just in case I need to go and attend to something or simply watch when they get a bit more lively and go and join them or feed the mother. So it's that kind of thing that you can do. You can not only get webcam imagery you can get the audio as well from the phone that you're using so really what you need here is a second hand or a used phone some you may have one in a drawer that you can put to good use so let's show you how to actually do that so what we're going to do here is we're going to make your old phone a remote webcam for monitoring anything in a room or anywhere within Wi-Fi range of your network. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how I monitor the screen. Now, obviously, I've got uh, the kitten cam on the screen here at the uh, at the top on the right hand side as you look at it. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how I can. Uh, get this achieved on a laptop. I'm using a MacBook Pro, but it could be any laptop. It can be a Windows laptop as well. So let's go to the first thing that we need to do. Apart from obviously you need to have an iPhone or an Android phone, and you need to be able to download applications for that phone from the uh, relevant store. So here I have a video that I made in the room where the cats are currently dwelling. The mother cat was just down on the floor on the right hand side. And this is the old Android phone. It's an LG G6. It can be any Android phone with a camera and a microphone um, that runs this software. And this software is called NDI HX Camera. And I'll show you that in a minute and how you can get hold of it. This is showing that the the phone needs to be powered, so we've got its normal USB cable powering the phone. They're the little guys there, and we just go back to the camera on a stand that I've made. You can use a tripod or some other method of mounting your phone to make the video. Uh, if you want to know more about the NDI software and how to use that, I've made another video regarding how to use that and I'll put a link in the top description, but it's very easy. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go online and you need to go to ndi.video. That is the website. If you simply search for NDI, that will come up and you'll get to a point where you can see NDI tools. And what we would then do is we would scroll down through the tools and you can see it says here, hopefully you can see this, uh, it says included tools, NDI tools for Windows and NDI tools for Mac OS. They're slightly different and you'll be able to then download for the Windows tools or the Mac tools. And these tools are free, so they will give you all of these features. So you'll be using just one of those features in the uh, in the link. If we then want to, so this is going to be what you use on the computer that you're going to be monitoring on. Uh, so you'll have the window from the webcam, i.e. your phone, on this computer, whichever computer you're running these NDI tools on. You'll then also want to go to the web store to get the camera application. Now, here we've got the App Store, which is Apple's own store. And you'll see that it says here that the current cost is 19. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that very clearly, but the cost is 19.99 for the App Store app at this moment. That is Canadian dollars. 
if we go to the um, Google Play Store, for some reason it doesn't show you the price. I'm sure there is a price and I'm sure it's fairly similar. So look at about maybe $25 US, uh, £20 UK right at this moment to be able to get that. And you'd need to run this application, whether it's up from the, uh, uh, the Google Play Store or the App Store, you'll need to run that on the, the old phone. So you need to be able to use the old phone and the application on the phone. And that's actually what we saw running. If I just jump back very quickly to the video, that is the application that you see running in the screen right there. And uh, that is the NDI camera, HX camera application. Okay, so once you've done that, we will then move on to the laptop to show you how to actually run the applications very, very quick and very easy. So in the laptop, you'll run the product called NDI Launcher. If I click on NDI Launcher, and the tool that we're going to use is the one called Video Monitor. Click on Video Monitor and a, a window opens up and it's completely black. I'm going to turn off close the uh, NDI launcher app in the background. So we've now just got this video monitor working and we can see that that's here. But what we do then is we go to the NDI option at the top of the screen. So you can see NDI here and there you will also see the cameras because you can have multiple cameras running uh, that you can connect to. So once I connect to either of those, they're, they're actually the same one. So if I click on it, you'll then see I immediately get the feed from the mobile phone that I can listen to and see. I can actually hear the sound as well, but I've just muted it so that uh, you can just see what's actually going on here. Now, you'll need to gauge what quality of Wi-Fi you've got because the higher the quality level of your local Wi-Fi, wherever your camera is, how far away it is from Wi-Fi signal and your main computer, that will affect the quality of the image that you're getting. Um, it's all very quiet in my cat cam world at the moment, but you can make out that the mother cat is actually breathing. So there is live movement there. It's a little bit dark as well because uh, it just is at this particular time. But uh, that's how it works. So you're simply going to use NDI video monitor, select your NDI camera once you've launched that on your mobile phone and you'll be able to monitor anything that that camera is watching. So I hope you found that useful and uh, so at the bottom there you'll see the NDI feed on my laptop and that's the bottom right hand side. I've also got a copy of the NDI video feed coming into this video so that's something else you can do. You can also if you want to feed this through to a live stream so you could use YouTube or any other live streaming platform so that you could then monitor whatever you're videoing uh, using an, a normal URL. So that's very easy to do as well. Of course, I'm using Ecamm Live for anything like that. So I have live streamed this at uh, exciting times. It's not an exciting time at the moment, but uh, you can get the idea. So you can remote monitor things if you want to by doing that. So I hope you found this useful and uh, I look forward to answering any questions you have. If you've got any questions, leave those in the comments and of course like this video if it's useful for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.